ICTO test is used for the confirmation of bilirubin in urine. To do the test, you need the kit, a specimen, and water. Here I have my labeled water and specimen. I'm going to open up my kit and remove an absorbent pad. First, you're going to add 10 drops of specimen to the absorbent pad with a transfer pipette. One, two, three. Okay. Then you're going to Add the ictotest tablet. I'm going to shake the tablet off into the lid first, not onto my gloves. You should not touch these tablets. And then I'm going to gently, carefully place the tablet onto the pad, replace the top of the vial there. And now we are going to add one drop of water to the tablet. And then one more drop and let the color run over. A positive Reaction is going to be dark purple um, indigo color, whereas a negative reaction is either going to just stay yellow or be a um, sort of pink red color. And that is the ICTO test. Be aware of atypical colors when interpreting this test. A positive result will be purple to indigo, black, or brown. Um, sometimes peridium, an over-the-counter medication, can cause the urine to be an orange pigment and will cause the ICTO test to appear as a sort of fuchsia positive reaction. This is a negative reaction for bilirubin should be reported as negative. False negatives can occur when the specimen is mishandled or exposed to light for too long and bilirubin breaks down.